Hey, it's Steve. Today I thought I'd bring you a couple of tips for the BTEC GMRS V2 radio. Uh, this radio is basically the uh, same form factor as the Baofeng, uh, the UV82 uh, radio. Uh, I've got one of those. Uh, this particular one is specifically created for uh, just the GMRS channels and it's FCC licensed so that you can broadcast on GMRS. Uh, the nice thing about it is it does have a tuning where you can monitor other ham radio frequencies, uh, UHF, VHF, etc. You're not able to broadcast on those, but you can program in to scan them. So i uh, not going to go through that today. Uh, the big thing I wanted to bring you is a, a great feature on here. Uh, that I wish actually more of the other radios had. Um, and that's being able to display both the channel name and the frequency at the exact same time and keeping those synced together. So in this case here, if you look at the display, um, we're showing GMRS channel 1. It's on 462.5625 megahertz. And what is cool is if you end up changing Two. the channel the name and the frequency Three, uh, get displayed. Two, okay, one, one, so actually one, if I go down, nine, here's like eight. the NOAA channel, the weather radio channel, uh, that one displays the frequency there. So the way that you're able to do this is you actually have to use Chirp, uh, the Chirp software to go in and you know you set up all your frequencies. There's, there's lots of other videos out there uh, that explain how to do it, but basically, uh, you need Chirp in order to give your channels um, a name, okay? Uh, once you've got a name and a number out there, then you can come back to the radio. You don't need Chirp, you don't need chirp for this. And if you go to the menu, menu, and there is menu option 21. If you take a look, it's MDFA, which is the display for the top line, and that one I have set to name, okay? Uh, the next one is option menu, uh, option 22. It's a little bit hard to see when it's lit blue here. Uh, that one shows the MDF, uh, that's the line B, and I have that set to frequency, okay? Menu. So those are two important settings. And then if you scroll forward, this is the key one, option 24, there's an option called sync. And if you turn that on, then what happens is, for example, if you look at this channel, this NOAA channel, uh, the NOAA channel on the top for channel 6 shows that it's in position 198 in the memory. And then the frequency is also at 198. And having that sync function on, um, what it does is it will sync both channels together. So that as you're scrolling up or down, channel 1, Two. channel 2, Three it will automatically display the name for that particular channel on the top line and then the frequency for the um, on the bottom line for that same channel. So anyways, you know, I kind of wish um, some of the more expensive radios, I've got a uh, an Ocean a KG935G+. Plus. That one's got two different um, sections. It's, it's a dual what they call a dual watch, dual band, where you can listen to two channels at the same time. Um, I've done a review on that one, if you have any questions on that. But that one does not even let you display both the name and the frequency on both lines. So that's something that I had suggested to them, and they thought, hey, it's a pretty good idea. Um, so we'll see if maybe they incorporate that into a future release. So anyways, this is a, uh, this is a great feature that I love. Uh, the other quick tip for this, um, I know the regular, my, uh, my Baofeng, my UV82 uh, does not do this, but what's cool is with this BTEC, with the GMRS V2, um, if you hit the zero button um, and hold it, and you've got to be looking at the display pretty quickly, it'll show you what the battery voltage is. So I don't know if you saw that, it goes pretty quick, 7.4 volts and then it goes back again. So just another neat little trick uh, I happen to stumble across by accident. It's probably in the owner's manual, but um, 
I'm sure there's probably a lot of people that aren't aware of it. So anyways, hopefully you found these couple of tips helpful. Um, this has been a great radio. This is in the $60 range out on Amazon. Not too bad. Um, I'm able to uh, hit my repeater uh, for our weekly nets that we have, which is about four miles away with the stock antenna. Uh, no problem. Comes across crystal clear. So, all right. Thanks again. Until the next one, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.